What's happening, people, and welcome to another episode of Dirty Mike in Career Mode. If you're new to this series, then it's all about developing your pro and taking them to greatness. Shall we start with a recap? And the answer is absolutely. Let's put that on the books. So in the previous installment, I received an offer from Benfica. It was a little bit unexpected. I don't think that I get too many transfer offers without me initiating that transfer. But this has been a little bit different. I think that Inter Milan feels a certain type of way about me as a player. They spent a bunch of money during the transfer window. They brought me in from Real Madrid. And boom, broken ankle, missed the majority of the season. And I think they're just ready to cut their losses and try to ditch me. I do want to stay and show the fans that I can be loyal. I can show up. I can play at the highest level. But I asked you guys in the comment box in the previous episode, and some of you guys were like, hey, shoot on over to Portugal. Let's go. Let's do some work at Benfica. Other people were like, nah, stay with Inter Milan. And then others are saying, hit that stall button. So for now, I've hit that stall button. And as you noticed at the beginning of this video, I did receive an offer from PSG. Ugh. And we get a beautiful assist, first of the season, getting uh, getting some stats on point and ready to go. And I did receive an offer from PSG. It was a solid offer. I've already played in France. I've played for PSG before. And I didn't, I didn't see eye to eye with the manager. He wasn't getting the most out of some of his players. The defenders weren't doing what was necessary. And we didn't have a great season. Individually, I was okay. But you can let me know once again in the comment box. Feel free to hit me in there and tell me what's real in life. Should I make a move to PSG? Should I go to Benfica? Should I keep waiting for more offers? Do I need to stay with Inter Milan? Things are getting a little bit uh, a little bit greasy in this in this career mode. I've never had so many offers just start flying in. I think that Inter Milan must have put me on the trading block. And we get another lucky assist. It just bounces right into Longo's path. And he taps it in on the near post. I'll tell you what, that near post is unbelievably overpowered this year. Whether it's ultimate team, whether it's head-to-head, -head, or even career mode, it just seems to be the place that the keepers make the most mistakes as we miss a finesse shot in the 90th minute. Could have added one of my own, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. And we get a 9.6 overall rating. And I've got another big question for everyone. Regardless of what club I'm going to be at for this year, how many goals and how many assists do you think Dirty Mike is going to put up? What kind of numbers am I stacking? Hopefully no injuries. You can even put that down as a prediction. You think I'm going to get hurt and miss a bunch of the season. I won't I won't take it a certain type of way. It seems that it's been a it's been a it's been a tough ride. It's been it's been difficult to stay healthy for the entire season. And when I've been healthy, it usually means that I'm not playing that much. So that's like a lose lose as we head into the final match of this EP. And I'm in the starting lineup. We simulated one in between there. I think that the manager said that I was looking a little bit tired, that my fitness bar was not in the right spot. He was like, just take a sit down, just chill on the bench, make some jokes with your teammates, and cheer on the guys that are on the pitch. And I was like, all right, player. All right, I'll watch, I'll watch this game. But we're heading into, like I said, the final match, and we're still using that 4-3-2-1 formation, which I do believe works really well with Inter Milan. We have a lot of talented strikers, good goal scorers, and it's a nice counter-attacking formation, which is important in my player because you're only controlling one guy. So when you finally take possession off your opposition, you need to try to counter-attack quickly. And I am playing on Legendary. A couple people have been asking me. I don't know anything about sliders and stuff like that, but I don't think my stats are really amazing, so it shouldn't be one of those things where you have to ask me about sliders. We just dropped the dime. Look at that beautiful finish. Another assist. And we've been playing as that true center forward recently and getting in the right positions at the right time and finding finding the teammates, finding everybody else on the squad, getting them involved, doing a little bit of some LeBron James action. If you haven't seen the Heat Pacers series, if you're American, I don't know why you haven't been seeing it, but it's crazy. We're going to be heading into a Game 7 tonight. And I'm looking forward to that. I'd love to say that the Pacers are going to take Game 7, but I just got a feeling that Miami's going to close it out. I'd love to see them uh, take an L. And speaking of near post OP, uh, Dirty Mike with just a sexy finish. Too powerful for the goalkeeper, and I just blasted right by him. Such a such a dangerous, dangerous shot that is that near post deal. I wonder what's going to be happening with FIFA 14. And if you enjoyed the video as we're coming to a close here, make sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's09USA. I'm going to have a lot more content coming at you ASAP, ASAP. I want to get more of these videos out. I know you guys love that career mode, and I've just been trying to hit the team of the season moments and the new cards with FIFA Ultimate Team, and I've got a lot of stuff on my plate. So until next time, peace.